So the vein's job is to bring the blood from your feet back up to your heart so it can get some fresh oxygen and your arteries can bring it back down to your feet. I try to explain this with pictures. It seems to make a little more sense. I'm not going to draw any arteries. So the important thing is you don't see any blood going from your heart to your feet in my picture here. Okay, that's the arteries jobs. Again, the veins are supposed to bring the blood from your feet towards your heart. And because most of the time our feet are below our hearts when we're up walking around or even sitting in a chair, veins have to work against gravity. And to do that, they have these little check valves, kind of like plumbing. The little valves open and close with pressure. So if you squeeze the muscles of your leg, like when you take a step and you walk, the little valves pop open and the blood moves from one chamber up to the next chamber and then the valves relax when the muscles relax and they shut and they act like a floor so the blood can't go back down to your feet. This is really important because most venous disease starts with a broken valve. Usually it happens at a junction where you have a healthy vein carrying blood towards your heart with healthy valves getting to a level and then not having anything hold it up so it's unable to get to the next level. Meaning your healthy side of the equation is working hard to get blood to this level but then this valve gets stuck open or maybe it's just not closing all the way but regardless it doesn't hold the blood up there. So when the blood's at this level all of a sudden it turns and it goes right back down to your feet and every place that vein branches and veins are notorious for being very interconnected with many branches, some that get kind of big as you go down your leg, you get the domino effect of the blood going back towards your feet. The important thing here is that's old, stale, deoxygenated, used up blood that doesn't offer a lot to your feet. It has to get to your heart before it's of any use. So most vein treatments focus on where health meets disease. And simply put, no matter what we do, we permanently close a small section of vein to let the good guys do the work and let your body reabsorb the veins that weren't working. This is an important concept because if you start someplace different from this area, meaning downstream at one of these branches, let's say your skin surface is right here, and you can see this big lumpy vein out here, so you start here, thinking this is where it's all coming from. Well, what's gonna happen is the back pressure that's here basically gets shifted over and causes more problems, usually within five years. So finding this spot is critical to vein treatment. The way we usually find this spot is with ultrasound. And a couple important things about an ultrasound, when you have a valve study that's mapping where these veins are and how they work, you have to be in a standing position. Gravity has to be used to close those valves. So if you get your veins evaluated and you're lying down, these valves might be open and you might get a false positive or a false negative. So standing up, finding this spot is probably the most important thing in establishing a good start for vein treatment.